Hello teachers, welcome back to my channel. On my channel, this is where I help teachers, amazing teachers like you, use technology to gamify your lessons so you can create those standout classes where your students are engaged and are just so excited to come back weekly. So in today's video, we're going to dive into Canva and I'm going to show you how to make a simple yet powerful and engaging tic-tac-toe game where um, we can use this game to gamify our lessons and create that um, fun gamify learning um, classroom environment so your students are not only learning, but they are having so much fun while they're learning. And they're engaged, participating, and they're excited to come back weekly. So let's dive in to um, Canva and learn how to create this tic-tac-toe game. I'm so excited. Okay, so you need Canva. Here we are, and we are going to create a new design. We want it to be a um, presentation square. There it is, presentation or size. Okay, now I'm going to have our tic-tac-toe board, and I'm going to have a spot to put our characters. And I really like to start with... Um, a border around here. It kind of just tie, ties everything up, makes it look really nice. I'm just going to put a rectangle shape down. I'm going to add a border to it. And your border weight can be whatever you want, whatever you think looks good. And just adjust that. Okay, and then the inside, oh, I already had it. I'm just gonna click that transparent. Now I have a border. Okay, next we're going to add in our tic-tac-toe squares. So that is a table right there. And I just need a regular, there we go. Okay, and I need to get rid of one of these. Delete. I'm going to just make this a nice square to fit in side. Okay, and again for this tic-tac-toe game or the, our board, you can adjust the border as well. So if I'm going to adjust all borders, I'm going to make sure that button's clicked and then I can adjust this weight. I really like the thicker lines. It helps it make um, it stand out. Okay, now this is, I would, oh, again, click highlight all of that. We're going to change the color of this. And this is where you can have some fun. You can change it um, to whatever color you want. I'll do, um, eh, that looks good. Or there are these fun gradient colors down here. If you want that to kind of pop out, that's really fun. Okay, again, this is up to you. Okay, now we're just gonna give it a title. Oh, I don't wanna type in the box. You just have to make sure you're clicked outside of that. And then I'm gonna click T for text box on my keyboard. And we're gonna type tic-tac-toe or you can be creative and give this your own name. And I like to have this pop out. Oh, again, you gotta <laughs> click outside the box. I'm gonna click R for um, our rectangle shape, square shape really. And we're gonna make this a background. Again, change this color. I'm going for There we go, some colors that really pop. Okay, now these characters are where you can have some fun. Um, yes, you can have, you know, X's and O's, but make it fun and gear it towards what your students like, um, or even th theme it to a holiday or whatnot. So we could have Halloween characters here. It's close to Halloween.
see all. I can have, you know, one character be a bat. We can change this to black. Or I can have, oh, I like that pumpkin. Um, or if your creature, your creatures, not your creatures, I'm putting creatures on here. Your students, if they're really into video games, put in, you know, video game controllers or console or TV. Um, if they love um, maybe sea creatures. I had a student who really was into um, the ocean and wanted to be a marine biologist. So maybe I would put some fish here because I'm going to gear it towards what my students like because that's going to grab their interest. Okay, and then once I have my characters here, I need to duplicate it and make sure it fits in this box. Adjust it so this character this fits in the box nicely. So that's just a little too big still. Okay, and now we're going to duplicate it. And that's this button right here, duplicate. And then I'm just going to line it right up so it looks like I have one. And then I'm going to highlight, oops, let's lock that down. Actually, before we move on, we want to lock that border down so it does not move on us. We're going to do the same with our tic-tac-toe board. Lock it down so it doesn't move on us. I do not want to accidentally have that um, moved. Okay, now I can highlight the whole back. I'm going to duplicate. It just duplicated three. So now I have a six bats there. We'll do the same with our pumpkin. Duplicate it. Duplicate it. Highlight all of them. Yep, now I have six of them. Perfect. Just the right amount I need. Okay, now this tic-tac-toe board is ready to go. Uh, we are kept it simple and we are done. And you're ready to use it in your classroom. So, there you go. Congratulations, guys. You just made a tic-tac-toe game really fast, and now you're ready to use it in your classroom. This is exactly what my clients are able to do. They're able to create um, games like this and teach confidently with their games in their classroom. So they can ditch the worksheets and static slides and teach um, sold out classes because their classes are engaging um, and they gamified their lesson. Students absolutely love games and this helps um their classes be just so fun that their students are coming back weekly. They can't wait for their class because they know they are going to play a fun game and just do um, some fun work. So they're excited to learn. I love it. So send me an email if you want to chat about how you can easily gamify your lessons. Um, that My email is in the description and be sure to grab. There's a free Jeopardy game. Um, down in the description as well. And next week, I'm going to show you how to use that Jeopardy game in your classroom. So how are we going to fill it out and teach with that game, with a Jeopardy game? So grab that in the description box and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Happy teaching.